Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about compound inequalities. And we're going to solve this inequality and graph its solution. So if I was given this inequality, negative 50 is less than 7k plus 6, which is less than negative 8. Okay? Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract a 6. And when I subtract a 6, I'm going to subtract it to all parts. Okay? On the outside as well as the inside. That leaves me with 7k in the middle. And then negative 50 minus 6 here is negative 56, and that's still less than. And then less than, negative 8 minus 6 is a negative 14, okay? And so now what I need to do, okay, is I'm going to divide by 7. I'm going to divide by 7 to all parts as well, okay? Negative 56 divided by 7 is a negative 8. That's less than k, which is by itself here, which is less than negative 14 divided by 7 is a negative 2, okay? So now we have negative 8 is less than k, which is less than negative 2. Fantastic. That's our final answer. But now I need to graph that solution. Okay? So I'll put a little graph down here. Let's go by uh, 2. So let's start at negative 12. Negative 12, negative 10, negative 8, negative 6, negative 4, negative 2, neg uh, 0, <laughs> negative 0, 2, 4, 6. Okay? Well, negative 8 is less than k, which is less than negative 2. It can't equal negative 8, so I'm going to put an open circle there at negative 8. Can it, and it's not equal to negative 2, so I have an open circle at negative 2. So now k can exist between them. I put my line between there, and there we have it. Our graph here matches our final answer, which is negative 8 is less than k, which is less than negative 2. So let's recap. We're given negative 50 is less than 7k plus 6, which is less than negative 8. I subtracted 6 to all parts here. To get 7k by itself in the middle, give me a negative 56 on the left and negative 14 on the right. And then divide by 7 to all parts again. Make sure you do that. When you divide by 7, or when you're on the inside, you have to do all on both uh, the left and right side there. Okay? That gives me k in the middle. Negative 14 divided by 7 is a negative 2 on the right. And negative 56 divided by 7 is a negative 8 on the left. So now we're given negative 8 is less than k, which is less than negative 2. So now I need to graph it. Open circle at negative 8 because k cannot equal negative 8. And an open circle at negative 2 because k does not equal negative 2. So now I have my line in between because k exists between negative 8 and negative 2. So my graph here now matches my final answer, which is negative 8 is less than k, which is less than negative 2.